Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is uh, it's a cold, rainy day right now in March. We're uh, going to be vertically jigging some bridge piling for some crappie. I'm supposed to be in Grenada Lake right now, but with all this COVID-19 thing going on, ah, the wind. I wasn't sure if uh, if the state was going to get locked down or if the ramps were going to close, so I decided not to drive the 900 miles to Mississippi. Staying here in Wisconsin, it is 38 degrees outside, sleeting rain, but I caught one crappie, and it's a good one, right there. We got a good one going on. It's about a 11 and a half inch black crappie, which was kind of surprising because I was not expecting to catch crappie on this lake right now. Um, usually, like early March, April, it really, can be a really tough bite, but uh, I found a school on these bridge pilings. So we're gonna get set up, got the live scope going, Let's see if we can catch a few more. Oh, there he is. Um, I don't think he's that big though. No, this is not the size we want. I had to switch up to a uh, pink Euro tackle. I might have to keep switching colors. That's not the size we want. Oh, do I got him? Yeah, I got him. He's not big though. That's a dink. We're going the wrong way in size right now. This is not good. There's some good fish. Here he comes. Got him. That's a better one. That's a better crappie. Yeah, <laughs> that's the crappie we want. There we go. There we go. These are fat. Pull the bug board out. Check to see what these things are. I'm gonna guess 11. Which for this lake is pretty darn good. You always wanna catch the big fish of the lake. Oh, he's a... Ooh, cheapers. He's a ten and a half or fat ten and a half or though. Uh, I don't know if that's a crappie. If that's a crappie, that's a big crappie. No, I think it's a bass. Or it's a carp. Yeah, it's not a crappie. Sucker, maybe? What is that? I don't know what that is. Catfish? Oh my goodness, it's a big brown trout. <laughs> That's crazy. I gotta get a net. It's a, it's a pretty nice nice trout. Holy smokes. I saw two of them on the live scope. I thought for sure they were a carp or something. Man, he's putting up a good fight. This is actually the first time I've ever caught a trout on this on this lake. It is a beautiful brown trout. That is a uh, very surprise catch. So we're gonna get him back. We're gonna get him back right now. All right, see you, buddy. I was not expecting to catch that fish. My goodness, full of surprises today. I actually came out here to pre-spawn bass fish because Wisconsin finally opened up its uh, bass fishing for March and April. This is the first year it's open year round. Out here, bass fish caught a brown trout, caught a few crappies. So, let's see if we can get a few more crappie in the boat. So, in order to target these pre spawn crappie, you need to focus on the deepest parts of the lake or river that you're fishing. In this case, I'm fishing a reservoir system and I'm targeting near the bridge pilings. The bridge pilings are usually the deepest part of a reservoir or a river system. There's also a rock pile towards the shoreline. This is a hard to soft bottom transition 
and crappie are feeding on bait fish that are moving along that rock pile and they're also feeding on insects coming out of the soft bottom silt near the bridge pilings. There's a good one, come on. Oh, what? My drag was not set. I don't know what I was doing there. That was a good fish. There he is right below the boat. Here he comes. Got him, got him a second time. Oh, it's a tank. Take it back, I take it back about biggest one being 12. It's a tank. No, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh my goodness, Davis figured out. There we go. <laughs> I take it back about being 12. This might be, this might be for 13 here. Oh yes. Oh, demolished that jig too. Look at that, just inhaled it. Oh, I was not expecting to catch these crappie today. Came out on a pre-spawn bash mission. I'm gonna let this guy go. This is a, uh, that's a future breeding class of fish right there. Let's see what this guy is. Oh, uh, we got, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, buddy, easy. Whoa. Oh, she's slimy. He's not staying on the board. There we go, stay. He's about 12 and three quarters. That is a Northern Wisconsin stud of black crappie. There he is. Oh, he's a dink. Oh, he's not terrible. Not terrible, he's probably nine. Maybe just shy. Nine and a quarter. There's a good one. Jeez. <laughs> that one's gonna end it. That one is gonna end it. There we go. All right, well, this one is gonna end it. I'm pretty sure I just got it caught on my jacket there. Nice fat pre-spawn black crappie. I'm gonna show you the big one real quick. So this guy was just shy of 13. Uh, yeah, they're just sitting between this rock pile and these pillars and they're, they're just feeding, most likely on either larva or some bait fish moving through here. I was not expecting to catch these today. I'm actually gonna let all these fish go, uh, but that is a, a fat pre-spawn northern Wisconsin black crappie. That's a tank. But unfortunately, I was not able to go to Grenada Lake, as I said earlier, and it's kind of disappointing. But uh, good bonus. Nice brown trout. I didn't even measure it. I just, as soon as I was able to get this camera going, did a little video and then put it right back because uh, it's not trout season. It's not open. You can actually catch and release trout right now. Um, but that was the first time I've ever caught a trout on this lake, which is pretty cool. So a little live scope action. Um, this is the PC Fun Ice X5. Uh, this is normally my ice fishing reel, but 500 size reel grip works great for panfish as well. Ch tried out these brand new, uh, tried out these new Gill Reaper jigs. They got a hole in the middle for uh, crappie nibbles. I probably should have put a few crappie nibbles on uh, towards the end of the afternoon here because the bite really slowed down. And then it seemed like the ticket was these B vibes. These are, uh, I believe they're two and a half inches. Two and a half or two, two and a half inch thin profile paddle tail swim baits made by Euro Tackle. B vibes. Seemed like that's what they wanted. And uh, I'm actually using eight pound monofilament on here. Eight foot ACC crappie sticks, got the brand new wind grip on it. So appreciate you watching. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button and click that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. We'll see ya.